Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We'll be talking about commercial real estate in Central and Eastern Europe. So good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Good Monday morning, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We're back here in the MRP studios in Warsaw. Always great to be back at the studio, and I see we got the black background again. Very nice. Uh, Winston, good to see you. Good morning. How yeah. you doing? Yeah, good, good. I hadn't seen you since the awards, I think. So Right. Yeah, yeah you I disappeared. Just, yeah, you disappeared <laughs> and, you know, I forgot it was winter still. But, uh, yeah, back and uh, always a pleasure to be back in Warsaw. And always uh, I was missing our studio and great to see the, the, the MRP studios are looking so much different and adding new, new equipment all the time. A lot going on. Thank you all for joining us back uh, in Warsaw. Very nice uh, weather on Sunday. Today is a little rainy. Um, a lot of things happening. I think we're coming to the end, putting together, finalizing the magazine for uh, the guide for MIPIN. Yeah, I saw yeah, that. Yeah, goes to uh, print on Friday. So, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's almost done. Right, right. Now I'm getting messages from our graphic team saying, check this, check that. So uh, things are coming together, I guess, for that. And uh, so... If you want, if you're looking for to do anything at MIPIN, now is the time. We have till Friday to get in the final ads, the final artwork uh, for uh, for our distribution at MIPIN. It's going to print on Friday or Monday. Uh, we've got extensive distribution around MIPIN. Over four thousand magazines we distribute every year at hotels, at the fair, and again, uh, we're the international media partner for Central Eastern Europe, Southeastern Europe. Be great to have you guys in if you're looking to contact any one of the uh, attendees uh, that, that come to MIPIN. This is a great opportunity to reach out to those people. And then uh, we also have our cocktail party, our Europa property uh, stand cocktail party Wednesday at 2 o'clock. Uh, so pop by for that. Always, uh, It's for one hour. Um, come by. There's always someone interesting there to meet from the region or coming into the region. And then straight after that, we're on to the, the SCE Awards. I see a lot of new sponsors and a lot of new uh, jury members from last week. So that's going to be at the uh, Athene Palace, uh, run by the newly remodeled hotel, run by the Intercontinental Group now, right in the center of town. Always great to do things there. Uh, really one of the top hotels in Bucharest. So that is um, April 17th. Book your uh, corporate table now. We have a, it's a little bit smaller ballroom, but very nice. Uh, it's just we always we are always sold out in the, the, at this in this place. So definitely book it quick. Uh, book your rooms as well. And things fill up quick. And then right after that, we go completely to the north, to the northern, uh, the Baltic, the Baltic Riviera in Sopot, where we have our Baltic Real Estate Awards at the Radisson Blue Hotel, uh, newly built. Uh, we did the event there last year. Amazingly great. A lot of uh, uh, investors coming down from, um, from Scandinavia, from the Nordics to see what opportunities there are in, in around the Nord, around, um, around the Baltics, in Poland. Uh, great opportunity to meet new people. Quite a lot of uh, top people from Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, the developers, investors also joining us. So some nice panels um, to come and talk there. And if you have any projects in uh, kind of the north of Poland there or around the Baltic uh, Sea, let us know. And that'll wrap up our, uh, wrap up our events before summer. Um, we'll jump over Winston. Let's uh, let's hit up the let's do the headlines first and see what's going on in the news this uh, the start off the week. Thanks, Craig. So uh, yeah, we'll start in the uh, Czech Republic and PKV expands into its new offices in, by CTP in Bruno. Uh, existing office stock is increasingly sought in Bucharest. Uh, Galleria Echo introduces a new urban food zone in Kielce, Poland, and Averson Young has striked up a new affiliation in Croatia. All right, so a lot of interesting things happening there. A little SCE there as well with Croatia as well. So we'll uh, take a little break and we'll come right back with the news.
So welcome back, and uh, Winston, some very interesting headlines. Let us know more details. So uh, CTP has signed a lease agreement with uh, PKV Build, which is a leading player in the energy consulting business, and they've leased premises uh, in an office building being built by CTP in Bruno, the Czech Republic. And according to uh, Yeri Peck, CEO of PKV, the location in the city centre is conducive to sustainable transport. The new space allows our group to continue to grow. Growth in turn will allow us to meet the demand for reducing our carbon footprint and moving towards energy independence for businesses and community of energy transition. And uh, this new building will be a 61 meter high building and it's being built on a former uh, Bruno Brownfield site. And uh, the investment is going to cost around 24 million euros and set to be completed by the end of uh, this year. Well, it's good that a lot of these brownfield sites, especially in Brno, where it was really a lot of industrial. Hugely before. industrial, yeah. 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 It's good so, to see uh, some of them are coming back to life now. You know? Yeah, this one they've been developing for a while, and I think mm -hmm. this is just a new phase of that site they've got there. And right, so, right. Well, good ICT. to see. And uh, moving to Romania, and uh, four Tim Trusted Advisors has, has uh, released some information on the uh, office uh, market. And uh, existing office buildings will be increasingly sought after companies due to a lackluster development pipeline in Bucharest. And uh, contr contract extensions of companies and existing office buildings soared last year by 131% year on year. And uh, according to uh, Fortim, uh, in terms of demand for office space, in the last five years, large companies have been looking first at office buildings under construction or in the process of delivery in order to have the latest on the market in terms of technology, quality, construction and facilities. However, as deliveries of new spaces dropped sharply to 84%, uh, competition for premium tenancies reopened in the segment of a second and third generation buildings. And that uh, says uh, Kostin Nisto, Managing Director of Fortim Trusted Advisors. Yeah, and that's, so it seems that Bucharest is following the same trends of many uh, big cities throughout the throughout the region where um, you know it's less less office development. Yeah, you may, at the end of the day, companies have to be somewhere, yeah? Yeah, yeah, and uh, I know, of course, they want to be in more S E S G um, compliant buildings. But at the end of the day, you've got to be somewhere, right? And uh, you got to take what you what's available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there must be uh, quite a bit of demand and quite a bit of competition for for tenants and developers alike. Well, when I'm in Romania, it seems like the actually the offices are busy. The people, I mean, in the, the offices that we go to see and the clients we go to see, their their offices full of people. Right, and I mean, just as a general slowdown in in production of of new of new offices, so mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. uh, the secondary and and third third placed uh, developments are going to be more like, popular, like almost net beneficiaries. Yeah, exactly. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, good. And uh, moving back to Poland and um, Galeria Echo in Kielce, owned by EPP, has completed the modernization of its food court. And the new space is called uh, Food Street, which was designed by the company's architects in cooperation with a local designer from Kielce. And according to uh, Jakub uh, Otsipka, asset manager at EPP, an important place in every shopping center is the food court. The food court has not only restaurant functions, but also social and integration functions. That's why we decided to refresh the arrangement of this zone in Galeria Echo. And uh, this new food zone includes almost 20 restaurants and cafes. And um, Gallery Echo is the largest shopping center in Kielce and is one of the key properties in EPP's portfolio. And uh, yeah, they, they were, were a winner at our recent retail awards, weren't yeah, they? that's right. And food, uh, yeah, EPP was. Yeah, 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 they won asset management. Asset, this asset is management. A good, this, this is a good example of what asset they're doing. management. Yeah. Yes. And Food Street sounds like a place they should invite us to, to come to Food Street. I'm sure you'll get an invite, Craig. Yeah, well, let's see. Hopefully. And uh, finally for today, moving to Croatia, and uh, Averson Young has announced uh, a strategic affiliation with a team of experienced local professionals in Croatia. The Croatian, the Croatian uh, commercial real estate market offers unique uh, investment opportunities, according to Averson Young. And it's a diverse, robust, and rapidly growing economy, continued strong demand for tourism and hospitality, and a blend of historic and modern urban development with an emphasis on sustainability. And according to Clara Matic, uh, Principal Managing Director of uh, Averson Young Croatia. Our local insight combined with Averson Young's global reach will deliver real economic, social, and environmental value to our clients and the communities they serve. Mm. Plus, not a nice place to visit. Croatia is a lovely place to visit, yeah. yeah it's always good to say I'm coming to the Croatia office for a week to make sure everything's okay, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely a nice place to go and visit. Nice, sunny weather. Anything else for today?
those are the highlights for today. All right. Well, thank you all for uh, watching the Coffee with Craig show this Monday. And stay tuned for Tuesday morning for the news. Click here to subscribe to the Coffee with Craig show. And don't forget to share it with your friends.